What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you another vacuum today. This here is a Dyson DC-14 Animal upright vacuum. This is not mine. I am actually cleaning this for my aunt who actually brought it in to me to have me service the thing. And it was horrible when it when it got into my hands. The, the cyclones were all caked up with dust. The filters were dirty as hell and the, even the brush roll was was literally caked up with nothing but hair but I was lucky enough to save it and one thing I would like to point out serving this thing for those of you who aren't Dyson professionals you're in you're prepared for quite a treat I mean I was worried that there were some plastic parts I was actually gonna break when servicing this thing but it is now back together and working perfectly. But anyway, let's go ahead and walk around and show you. Like I said, this is the animal version. If it was yellow, it'd be called the All Floors. And I want to say this might be an older model, judging by the handle design, because I remember some newer models of the DC-14 had the handles actually mounted up here, but this one's actually pulled back here, look kind of like a DC-15, which that came right after this. Fun fact, it was actually the first ball Dyson to be released to the US. This <clears throat> DC-14 was an upgrade from the DC-07, and it's got Route 8 Cyclone technology for no loss of suction. So there's some dirt that I've picked up already, but it's a very nice and large dust bin. And you gain access to the cyclones for cleaning. You just pull the top here, and there's the filter. You can actually take out the filter, and you can actually wash the insides of the cyclones with water. Just be sure all the dirt gets out. Even the filter is washable and reusable too. Oh, and right here is where the the post motor filter is is mounted. If you push this little red tab down, it releases the trap door. Power switch right up here. Nice little translucent color to it. Right here is the the brush roll on off. There's for bare floors and there's for carpet. And speaking of brush roll, let me go and show you that. This is how the brush roll is designed. Well, at least the clutch models that is. Those of you UK guys watching this probably know, probably have, or at least have one that does not have a clutch. This is what they look like. You could just turn those two screws and this whole bottom plate pops right off. Easy for brush roll servicing. And when I got this, the belts were stretched. This actually uses two belts. But for those of you who aren't knowledge knowledgeable about removing and taking apart the clutch assembly just to replace a belt, yeah, good luck with that. I ended up buying a whole new clutch assembly which Dyson recommends replacing that once the belt stretches on these. And not just them, but the DC-07 and DC-33 as well. And you will notice the head kind of rotates up and down, but this is actually Dyson's design of a floating head. Basically how it works is when the vacuum's reclined back, see how the head kind of pivots? And it kind of contours to the your pile of carpet. It's an interesting design. I kind of think Panasonic got the, their design a little bit better in my opinion because their wheels were actually mounted on the base of the vacuum. And when you recline it back, they the wheels will slide underneath. And that's how they do their floating head. But Dyson does theirs like this. So anyway... Let's go ahead and release the cord here 
Also, you will notice the upholstery tool is missing. I didn't lose that. It was just not... It was just there when I got it. But there's its dusting brush. You won't see this little end here actually rotates. Oops. But there, that's what it looks like. With a rotate, with the brush rotated, you pull it back like so. So now I'm gonna go ahead and plug this thing in. It's got a fairly long cord on it. So now let's go ahead and plug it in. Now I'll show you this baby operating. Turn the power on. There's the brush roll spinning. You will notice right there that there is actually a suction diverter inside here that diverts suction going to this end of the hose right here and if you recline the vacuum back it diverts all the suction to the vacuum head and the brush roll turns on Vacuum is very easy to push and pull. So now for bare floors, if you want to go to that, so we move on over to bare floors, pull that knob to turn the, the brush roll off, now you can clean your bare floors. Then if you want to go back to carpet, just simply move back over to carpet, turn the brush roll on. Now I'll go ahead and show you the hose function. Simply pull this tab right here, then your whole hose pops right out. It does have a very, very long reach. And, and also if you press these little two tabs together, then this end of the wand will pop right out. <clears throat> And if you want, you could actually hook it to the end like, like so. It's not very easy to do one-handed, I could very sure tell you that. But once it's on there... You use the little extension wand to clean your, your nice hard to reach areas.
I will say the suction is insanely powerful. You heard that noise, there's actually a little relief valve that opens when there's too much suction being blocked. You connect your adjustment block. Now the credit tool. I kind of like how it's kind of indented like that, so you can get into your couch crevices a little bit easier this way. Probably would work a little bit better if I hooked the tool in all the way. And when you're done, you simply snap it back in. Make sure those little clamps attach. You can hook back in, slide the extension wand back in, and there you go. They do also ha have a pet hair turbo brush that is optional. Well, I hope you all enjoy this little review of the Dyson DC-14 Animal. Be sure and stay tuned. And don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.